I genuinely think she's just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere, do you? I am currently in Cancun Airport in Mexico, trying to find my check-in desk. I'm flying with an airline called Copa Airline. I'd never heard of them before, I've never flown with them before. I just need to try and find a desk. Right, I found the check-in, I'm just waiting in the queue now. Can I check in for a flight to Rio, please? Is it possible if you could give me a good seat? Just let me check the Ah, thank you very much, thank you. If there's any exit seats, that would be brilliant. Okay, from the exit row, you need to speak Spanish from Panama. I need to speak Spanish, I could yes. do that. Gracias. In the back, no liquids, no gels, no tequilas. Or no tequila, just big bottle of whiskey. <laughs> no whiskey. No, only Joey. No, no alcohol in the bag. This is the boarding pass. For yeah. The connection flight, Panama, Rio de Janeiro. Keep Thank you. Safe. This yeah. is from Panama to Rio. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Cool guy. He sorted me out with some good seats for my last two flights. Happy days. Now for security. I don't even know how long this flight is to be honest. Can't be too long to Panama because that's like Central America as well. All good. Thank you very much. Right. Next stop, Panama City. Get me to Rio. Cheers, thank you. We are now in Panama. I've literally only just woke up off that flight. Slept the whole thing. My body clock hasn't got a clue what day or time it is right now. The last time I had a hotel was in Egypt. That was like, what, four, five days ago? I'm telling you, it's starting to catch up on me now. I've got one hour and 30 minutes in Panama before my connecting flight, so I've got good time. I've just got to figure out where the gate is. I found the gate, it is literally just over there. So if you've not got me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Simon J. Wills. I put my story that I was going to do some questions, so seeing as though we've got time, let's do some now. Colin P1233, what is it like to do these long challenges with nobody to speak to? Great question, Colin. Honestly, by traveling alone, you speak to so many more people. When you travel with somebody, you end up speaking to them 90% of the time. So by traveling alone, it makes you speak to more people. Absolutely love traveling alone. Give it a go. Chris Hubbin, what's your most annoying part of our airport? Security, when they make me empty the whole of my bag and take everything out. Obviously, it's security. It's good that they check everything. But yeah, it's so annoying when I've got to put everything back in my bag. Home Middlesbrough, do you ever feel nervous when traveling to a new city slash country when doing a challenge not really I don't really get nervous when I go to new places but like if I go somewhere I've never been before like China for example I just put my guard up a bit more so I'm just a bit more aware I hope that answers the question Hayden Hewitt 28 what is your favorite part about traveling around the world easy answer meeting new people every time James McEwen 1998 what makes you do the videos you do that is a good question. I love hard challenges that I don't know if I'm gonna do. I love to be excited about what I do, and I wanna prove to people that one, you don't necessarily need a lot of money to do stuff, and two, if you actually put yourself out there to do it, you never know what's gonna happen. I could say so much more to that question, but I think that pretty much sums it up. Last question, jasmine.wills. Where is the one place you're still desperate to travel to? You'll find out by the end of this month. I'm excited for that one. If you've not got me on Instagram, it's at Simon J. Wills. It's the same on Twitter. I'm going to do more of them, and I'm also going to get back on the Instagram lives as well, so definitely get me on there. Seeing as though this is the last video on the challenge, I'm going to do another skink giveaway. All you've got to do is like and comment on this video. Go and get me on Instagram, and I'll pick one person to pick whatever they want off skinstuff.com. Oh my god, look at this hair. The chip pan is back. Right, let's go and check this gate. Have a nice flight. Thank you very much. I can't believe it. I'm boarding the last flight to Rio. Not one delay. I can't believe it. Get me on this plane so I can have a bit more of a sleep. Cheers, 
thank you bye we are in Rio Brazil I genuinely can't believe I've pulled that off not one delay not one I am absolutely ruined imagine rushing to go somewhere rushing to go to work or something I've been rushing for a week non-stop the time here now is 6 25 in the morning I'm not too sure what time the wonder actually opens but I'm just gonna head straight there anyway just gone through passport control and security it was easy enough I didn't need a visa for Brazil and they didn't charge me to come in either so win-win right let's get out of here I'm out I just need to find an ATM now to get some cash out Right, we got cash. We just need to find a taxi now. Taxi? Yes. <laughs> ah, cool, let's go. How much to go to Christ Redeemer? So 130 Brasilia. Brasilia money. Brasilia yeah. money, no problem. What's your name? My name is Alex. Alex, Simon. <laughs> Do you support Liverpool? <laughs> oh, we're yes, going this way. Liverpool is good. It's good. Yeah. Bobby Firmino, favorite Firmino, player. Firmino. <laughs> we don't like Catino anymore, though. Yeah. He go to Barcelona, we don't like him anymore. Is it safe in Brazil? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah, it yeah, safe? Yeah, yeah. So 130 Brazilian real. What's that in pounds? 25 quid, not too bad. All good, thank you. Bye Have bye. a good one, I'll see you later. Thank you. É Cristo Redentor. Christ the Redeemer. Yeah. Yes. Because oh, is there a train go up? Uh, yes. The train take me up. Okay, cool. So can you drop me off by the train? Yeah. You take me no train. Heavy. Yep, no problem. Have you had a busy morning? Uh, <laughs> ah, my Spanish. I need to learn <laughs> Spanish. Google Traductor. What would we do without Google Translate? How far is Christ the Redeemer from here? Thirty or forty minutes. Yeah. Ah. This van, the train. Ah, here. train here. Yes. See, si. gracias. I will pegar uma condição para pegar o train, okay? Ah, okay, I get yes, over yes, here. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay? Yes, gracias. Oh. Yeah, gracias. Thank ah, you, no problem. Thank you. This is so ah, okay, cool. Okay? Thank you. Have a nice day. Portuguese. English. English. Yeah, Spanish. Spanish very. I am. No entiendo. No train. Train. Eh? Yeah, where's train? Where? Like where? Down here? Up there? We'll never ever see that. I could definitely do with learning a few more languages. Excuse me. Where's the train? Train. No. I genuinely think she's just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere, do you? Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. I had it fine. Ah, nice to meet you. What's your nice. name? Lohan. Simon. Simon? Yeah. Name is the my sobrinho. My children, Simon. Name ah, no Simon. way. Ah, good name. Good name is Simon. <laughs> how far is the train station from here? Five minutes. Five minutes. So I walk on my own. Okay, all good. Nice Thank to you, meet Lohan. you. Yeah, nice to meet you nice too, to man. Meet. So which way is it? Okay, Only just walk. Front. No right, no left. Just I keep walking straight yes it's, it's not dangerous no danger all good thank you thank you thank have you. a good one see you later where on earth am i going here i've definitely walked for five minutes and i can't see any train station oh yeah there's a few people here ah this is it now hi how are you is this the train to go to cristo yes Okay, cool. How much is it? 79. 79. The next one's 920. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. This is the ticket to come back. Yes. Okay, cool. And the platform's just here or up there or up there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Fair play. That lad up there with a the son called Simon sorted me right out. The time now is 8.56. The next one's at 20 past nine, so what? 24 minutes? Alright. Yes. Just got to the top now, let's go and check this out. I tell you what, that train went on for ages, it went proper high. Jesus, that's big. Pardon the pun. What? I tell you what, I must have burnt some calories on this trip. <sighs> 10 steps to go, literally. And we have done it. Happy days. I genuinely can't believe I've done it. This is insane, there it is, there. 
So the time now in Brazil is 9.48 in the morning. If you put that into UK time, it is 1.48 in the afternoon. So if I started it at 4.45 a.m. on Sunday, and it's now technically 1.48 in the afternoon on Saturday, it has taken me six days, nine hours, and three minutes to do the seven wonders of the world. That has got to be a record. This is so much more than just seven YouTube videos. This is something I've always wanted to do. Honestly, if there's anything that you want to do, use this experience. Just give it a go because you just don't know what will happen. Have a think about it. What's the worst thing that could have happened? A flight got cancelled halfway through. I still would have met some great people. I still would have seen some amazing places. What's the classic saying? You never lose. You either win or you learn. And that is so true. Now check out some of these ridiculous views. The views are absolutely amazing, but it is just so busy up here. I am done. I am now off to Cabana Beach. I'm gonna stick my mankini on and I'm gonna have a beer. I just wanna thank everybody so, so much for the support, the messages, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos. Honestly, it really means a lot. I really hope you enjoyed this series as much as I enjoyed doing it, even though I'm absolutely knackered. So, so much more to come, I'm excited. If you've not subscribed, make sure you do. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Honey.